Let's go guys, four minutes, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. Again, good finish, you got fouled there. Let's go, United on three, one, two, three, United. My name is Matt Van Pelt. Um, well, I'm from Rockford, Michigan, which is a suburb of Grand Rapids, the second biggest city in Michigan. It's a small town, but we actually had a good school program. Um, our school district was known for sports. Yeah, I pretty much played since I could walk. I mean, the only time we could start to play was year three. My parents told me my first game when I was Year three, I told him I've been waiting my whole life for it. <laughs> I've been to, I think, 12 countries in the last six years, just playing or coaching and training. Một pha off balance rất tốt của Mark Van Pel. I first came out here um, working top flight. Um, I was just looking for a place to either play or coach, and uh, I sent myself up my Ike just online basically, and he gave me a shot and then came out here. I will explain, all right? We're gonna do a bunch of different passes. Hamilton will get stuck in the backcourt, and if that's the case, you should be able to get some easy looks. All right, so nice job. Top flight on three. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, they might be sitting on it now, so pay attention. We might adjust. It might be time, might be time for a... Uh, hey, defense! For me, Bangkok's huge because I came from, like I said, a suburb, a small town. So it's big and it's, uh, but it's very vibrant. Like, there's a lot going on and I love it here. There's a big sense of community in Bangkok and Thailand in general. Like, people on the streets eat together, people hang out together. Well, one thing I think is really cool about Top Floyd is that we, like I was saying, we have coaches from probably 10 different countries or so, like coaches from the U.S., from Turkey, from England, from, we're very, we have an international staff led by Ike all the way down, so the kids are getting like a good variety of training and a good variety of coaching from different styles. And all, like, all our coaches are good coaches, and even though they come from different backgrounds, we all put it together and make it work. And... One, two, three! And what really made me want to play was my brother. I have an older brother, nine years older than me. He played basketball, so from the time I could walk, I always just saw him playing and it made me want to play. Whether it was in the backyard or he played high school basketball at the same school as me, so I kind of just wanted to be like him. I'm used to being the smallest guy in the court, and if I was small and I was slow, I wouldn't be very good. So I kind of try to take advantage of my speed, um, try to use it to my advantage to be small, because it allows me to be fast and quick. Everybody needs a partner. Who needs a partner? Hey, you go. Hey, you come over here, buddy. This time, we're doing what's called a V dribble. You're going side to side. So I just have to play smarter being smaller, too. I can't try to challenge taller players, like finish over them. I just have to try to go by them, beat them to the rim. I listen to hip hop when I get pumped up or like uh, classical music when I calm down and I'll, I'll pray before games, I'll stretch before games, I, I do certain drills just to get me warmed up. I have, I have my own routine that I do every game that kind of gets me in the zone, you know. So I get known for being like a ball handling guy because you know, I dribble a lot and I put kids for dribbling but 
I like to think that I also have a lot of good things, whether it's shooting or uh, passing or attacking the basket, whatever it might be, even defense. Once you pass, you go, 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 Because I was fortunate enough to learn from some really good trainers in the United States and some really good coaches. And I worked with some of them in the past and I learned a lot about basketball and skills training. Because I really want to get into coaching when I'm done playing too, like I'm coaching now, but I also want to coach professionally or collegiately when I'm done. I'm like retired from playing. So that's something I always try to take, is take from other coaches. Whether it's um, like Coach Yerkes from my pro team, or it's Ike, or it's one of the top flight coaches. Like I realize that I still have a lot of work to do as a coach, so I just, I always try to take things from them. You had like a tattoo, uh, yes. which is, I filmed only small. Can you show? Small but mighty, it says. Yes. My son. <laughs> Kind of a mentality type thing.